Hey guys, in this video, we're going to take a look at how you can find and open recently downloaded files in Safari on iPhone running the latest iOS 15 and the latest one at the moment is in uh, 2022 up, uh, update. So this will work uh, with all the iPhone as well, such as um, iPhone 8, 10, um, 11, 12, 13, 13 Pro. Uh, if you update your iOS to the latest version iOS 15. So here on my home screen, I'm going to open up Safari and say I have um, opened up a PDF document. And if I tap on the share button, I can choose um, save to files. And then in here, I will uh, choose where to save. So um, on my device, I can choose to save it to downloads and then tap on save. Then at the moment, it asks me, do I want to replace a previous file or keep both or stopped. I'm going to replace the file. All right. So that is, it's giving you an option where you uh, want to save. So if you want to leave at the default, you can just tap on the save button that will save to the iCloud drive. And let's say if you want to say download a sample um, audio file. So I'm going to download a sample audio file. So you can see here, I'm going to choose a sample of a file and I'm going to select say an mp3 file so I'll select the file and download and then we try to download a file right here all right so for some files uh, when you're trying to download so I'm just going to turn down the volume here Okay, so I'm going to tap on the share button and see if I can save files. So again, allow me to save to files. And then tap on save. Now, sometimes um, the box does not actually show um, where you can save. It just allows you to tap on save button. And uh, after you have saved your files, be it video files, document files, PDF files, or any type of files, uh, generally, it, this is where it is. This is where you can find it. So on your home screen, you want to open up files, which is file manager. If files is not on your home screen, you want to open up your app library and then just type in files and then open up the files uh, app. And in here, go back to your browse screen and um, open up the location what, where you save the file. We now remember that uh, previously we have chose, uh, chosen uh, iCloud Drive. So we're going to go into iCloud Drive. And here you can see uh, at the root of iCloud Drive is that sample P PDF document. And I also have uh, saved several files in the downloads folder. So I go in here and here you can see I have um, stored that file sample, example MP3 files that I have just downloaded at 10, 12. So 12 past 10, and I can open up the file and I can play the file. Now it's not playing the same because I have turned on the volume already. Um, I can open up the PDF file that I have uh, previously saved at um, 11 past 10. And this is just a sample PDF file. And yeah, so that is how you can um, find uh, the download file, download, uh, recently downloaded files and how you can open it. Uh, it is generally stored in your uh, default uh, file location. Now, if you go to go back to the home screen and open up settings, in settings, if you go down to Safari, and then in here we tap on download, you can see um, in download, you can actually set where you can download, um, where is the default download. Um, in here, you can choose other, downloads and then tap on done so if we have chosen the download path is iCloud Drive downloads then when we try to open up Safari and download the file so tap on save to file okay so at the moment it is set to iCloud Drive maybe because I need to um, actually refresh the page so uh, once refreshing the page it will show us with a new update so now I'm going to tap on the save to file button and then uh, if I tap on um, ideally it should go to the download folder I think maybe I need to um, close um, Safari altogether and then we open Safari 
so that didn't really close it make sure i'll close it this time all right so i'm going to reopen this um but this page right here and i'm going to tap on this uh, share button and then tap on save to file and it's still not um, actually setting the default to the download folder because ideally we want to have it default to downloads folder uh, in iCloud Drive and then uh, tap on the save button that will save to that uh, download folder so I, I think maybe I just need to clear the cache or something that's not updating right away um, maybe if we close Safari or do some other things once the cache has been cleared then it should uh, use the default, uh, the default uh, path that we have set in uh, settings and that's it. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, please subscribe to my channel for more videos.